welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angeline and we talk all things wellness, fitness, and self-care and how I fit it into my schedule as a mom of two kids. Now, fun fact about me, I know I post a lot of wellness content, fitness content, but I actually am a full-time working mom. I have a big girl job and I do work remotely from home. Pre-COVID, I was working downtown five days a week, but when I returned from maternity leave January of 2022, we shifted to a hybrid work environment. As a mom, I highly, highly value my hybrid work environment. Trying to balance my family and work is not easy, and being able to work remotely definitely gives me the flexibility I need to make it through my day, essentially. Tomorrow is the one day a month that I am going downtown Calgary to collaborate with my team, see them face to face and to socialize a little bit. I do like having the balance of working comfortably from home and also going downtown. I will say that I am very happy with that. I only have to go once a month. I know that there's a lot of, of my friends and family that have, either have to go every day or several times a week. So once a month is right in that sweet spot for me where I don't feel like I'm getting bored at home or disconnected from my colleagues because I do have that opportunity to go downtown and see them. But stay tuned so you can see how my day goes tomorrow. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you are also a hybrid worker and if you prefer working from home or going into the office. <laughs> to F45 to the 5 a.m. class. This is normally earlier than I wake up, but I don't love breaking out of my routine and it's challenging because I really need my workout at the start of the day to really set me up for success mentally. So here I am headed to the 5 a.m. workout. Now on Wednesdays, if you've ever been to F45, you know that the Wednesday workout is cardio and it is really challenging cardio. So it's not the workout that I'd love to do at 5 a.m., but I know I'll feel amazing after. So here we go. Class actually starts in about five minutes, but I live three minutes away from the studio. I don't expect to have a hard time trying to find parking. I'm just gonna park, run in, get my sneakers on and get going with the workout. The reason I don't do my normal 6 a.m. and just head downtown after my workout is because I want to leave work downtown at around 2, 2.30 to make it home by 3 so that I can pick my kids up from preschool. So I like to get a really early start in the day just so that I can be there for preschool pickup. I am going to miss preschool drop off, which sucks and I hate not being able to see my kids in the morning, but I had to choose one or the other. My regular alarm is going off now on my watch. It is 4.57. I am rolling up to F45. There's almost nobody here. We're gonna get going with the 5 a.m. workout.
workout. Race to my car. Don't really have any time for stretching today. That's fine. It is 5.45 on the nose. So you raced out of there. Now I gotta race home and shower. Feels so good. Definitely feeling like I had a little more energy today than other days where I've gone to the 5 a.m. workout. I'm not sure why because daylight savings was only a couple days ago. So waking up at 4 a.m. is technically waking up at like 3 a.m. But yeah, I went to bed early and I've talked about it a lot before in my other videos, but preparation is key. So I laid out everything the night before so that I can really just wake up and run out the door. My kids, husband and dog are still sleeping and I want them to stay sleeping. Um, so I have to be really, really quiet in the morning and definitely don't want to be rummaging around, you know, my closet, my door is going from room to room trying to find my stuff. All right, so I'm going to get home and I'm going to pop in the shower and get ready for the day. on the nose and I'm just pulling out I can't do any commentary while I'm at home getting ready because like I said everyone is still sleeping it is 6 30 a.m. and my kids don't wake up till 7 7 30 so I didn't want to be doing any talking and waking anybody up but I'm on my way to work now headed downtown to in Calgary now, of course, I left the larger vehicle with the two car seats for my husband, but when I got in our little car, I can see that the gas light is on. So I do need to stop and get some gas. I hope there is a pump open this early. Well, I guess I don't really have a choice because I am running on empty. The car is full of gas. And I'm still making good time. It is 6.48, so headed downtown, and hopefully I can be there by around seven. I have secured a parking spot. It is 7.02 in the morning. I made good time. Get myself sorted for the day, and then I'm gonna run out and definitely grab a coffee because I knew that having to get gas in my car, I was gonna run out of time to make a coffee at home, so. <laughs> It is 2.48 and I'm going to mosey on home because I need to pick up my kids from preschool. 
I should make it home for pickup and I'm quite excited because it will be the first time I see my kids today. I'm not sure what this guy's doing. Maybe I'll honk my horn. I don't like to horn at people, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Definitely looking forward to going home, taking off my dress clothes, putting on some sweats, and hanging out with my kids all night. All right, it is the end of the day. It is 7 p.m. I just put my kids down to bed. It's been a very long day. So I'm going to do my skincare and wind down for the evening. Because I woke up so much earlier than I normally do, it definitely feels like it's 8 or 9 p.m. And I'm try gonna try to make it until about 9, 9.30 before I crawl into bed. It's, uh, it was a good day, but it was a very busy and tiring day. And I'm glad I don't have to do that every day. Thank you so much for watching my video and staying tuned if you've made it this far. I really appreciate you being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.